Big man. You go for another round? You want to see him again? Nah, I ain't gonna do that to you. So, man, so tell me, so you're obviously getting ready for the Arnold Classic. So, uh, when did you when did you make that decision to go for it? Uh, I made that decision. I think it was like in April, actually, when I was here last. Um, we said on stage after last year, I unfortunately couldn't guest pose. Um, but I did manage to have some time on stage, thanks to you to the guys. Sorry, my breath. And um, me and you were having some talks on and off. And I was like, I'd love to do the Arnold. Obviously, Branch is two-time Arnold champion. I wanted his opinion. And uh, Branch was very encouraging. And he's like, oh yeah, just fucking do it. So I kind of said, yeah, that's the show I'm going to do. Obviously, this year I had a few tribulations and trials um, that I had to deal with with my body, nothing too crazy, um, but managed to get all that sorted. Brand new nipples, just so you know. Um, and yeah, because that's all sorted now, I'm in a good spot where I'm kind of in my off season, just pushing my weight up, training hard, and just uh, falling in love with the grind again. And then hopefully by March time, I'll be able to bring in something real good and um, do everybody proud and myself. So you know, this is the first time I've ever like stood on stage with you. Yeah, without clothes on. Yeah, without clothes on. Bro, you're fucking huge. <laughs> I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I'm retired. <laughs> I um. It's quite funny because like in, in England, you get a few like comparisons to people over the years, and I never really compare myself, and I never think you really should. But one of the you know people I do look up to is obviously Branch, and um. You know, over the years there's been the odd comment, Branch obviously had ridiculous legs. Um, so a lot of my motivation comes from Branch. He's kind of like, the guy that I know has been up against the best that's out there, genetically, work rate, you name it, whatever, and been able to come out on top. And uh, we actually met back in, I think it was like 2000, and I don't know, he came for a tour in England and we went for fish and chips. And uh, I just remember sitting there and asking you all the stories about the Arnold Classic and the people you were against, you know, the Dexter Jacksons, etc. And uh, it just it stuck with me that you can beat, you can be the best and beat anybody if you just give it your all and uh, you know stay disciplined. Don't listen to the naysayers. Listen to your circle, people that you trust, and um, yeah, and just keep grinding. So this is just a personal thank you for all the motivation over the years since way back when. So hopefully I can do something good at the Arnold. If I did ever pull off that win, if I did. That'd be a dedication to Branch Warren for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Like I, said when, like I said when I introduced you, you're, you're, a, you're a dinosaur. And I mean that in all the poss best possible ways because you're the last of a, those old school bodybuilders that, that I looked up to, like Dorian and Dubris Kaspari and people like that that motivated me. And um, you're the last guy out there, one of the last guys out there, there's some other ones, that still believe in hard work and still uh, want to do whatever it takes to be the best in the world. And um, you know, when you're trying to be the best in the world or something, you got to be willing to do what nobody else will do. You got to be, be willing to suffer, sweat, and bleed to do that. So, and this man right here embodies all that. So, congratulations to you. I wish you all the best. So, don't go anywhere.